Welcome to Tasting Wine. I'm Haley. I'm Toke. Today we're Tasting Wine. We are trying Bonanza. I got a little excited and I opened it up before. Uh, so yes, I poured that one in there, this one in there, and this one has a little bit of wine from the aerator in it. But yeah. So Bonanza is but no. Cabernet Sauvignon <laughs> from California. Yeah, I get too excited, okay? I get too excited sometimes. Yeah, this is from uh, Chuck Wagner. They do like Camus, which is pretty big, pretty big, pretty big <laughs> brand, pretty big, pretty big bun. Uh, from Napa, they have like 20 different labels. We did one on Willameter, which is another one of theirs from Oregon. Uh, but yeah, this this is wine I'm kind of excited to try because it's like their entryway wine. Yeah, it's supposed, it's like what, like 20 or 30 dollars? It's like, like yeah, that? it's around there. It's like 20 bucks. It goes on sale a lot. Okay, so we're gonna smell the non aerated, like just like the popped and poured yeah, wine. Yeah, put a little bit more in here too. Oh, that is. Funky. I don't know if I really like it. To that me, is funky. To me, it's a kind of a weird. Oh weird... my god, that is like dead vegetation, <laughs> sauteed mushrooms, and Katamala olives, and then like throw in some black cherry. <laughs> I can see the black cherry. Do you like, get that? When, when you say dead vegetation, do you mean like like weed like? green stuff that's been chopped that's kind of been like sitting in a pile that you, have, that you raked up four days ago no it's like when you're hiking in the woods and it's like all of the stuff that's like falling off the trees with like the plants and stuff it just has this like smell when it's all kind of like dead and decaying like together how many times have i said like like 15 like, oh my god know. I could, but I could see the olives, but this isn't a, a nose on a wine that I particularly enjoy. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this. I'm not going to judge it by that, but I'm not a big fan. Okay, well, what's it like in the aerated one? Have you smelled the aerated the one? The aerated one is just like softer and mellower and doesn't really have much of those things going on. Ah, okay, interesting. So I can see how this would transition to this after it's aerated a little bit. Cause you do still get like a hint of that Katamala olive sort of smell to it, but then it's more like black cherry, a little bit of mm. vanilla. Yeah, you gotta try it though because the- Black pepper. This wine, well, I'll say, I, I mean, I, yeah, try it. This wine to me has a good amount of vanilla and oak and some of that like synthetic type of mega purple stuff mega purple mega purple is like the fake like wine alcohol juice that they add to wine to get more out of it no yeah 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 no they're allowed to add a certain percentage and not tell you that it's in there it's called it's a yeah, it's called mega purple it's called mega oh okay, literally when you For said color. mega purple i was like it's like when you add all of the different sodas together and it makes like this like nasty mega purple drink mega purple no <laughs> I only, and the thing that I don't like is that it's super hard. I don't know that for a fact that this has that. I mean, from a huge family like that, I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, it's 14.5% alcohol. But yeah, they're allowed to add a certain amount of stuff to wine flavoring and not have to tell you about it. Just like Cabernet, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon in California only has to be 80% Cabernet Sauvignon. They could add 20% other grapes to it and still call it 100% Cabernet. Um, so this like is kind of developing on the smell like I still think it's kind of whatever I talked about earlier but I think it's kind of getting almost like a candied smell yeah, to it it's okay. candy it's sweeter this I would say is like a wine for red wine drinkers that are trying to get into red wine it's an entryway wine it's a little on the sweeter side it has like a lot of the notes that you would say oh this is what a Cabernet tastes like oh it has some oak it's got you know, maybe a touch of vanilla, dark fruits, berries, you know, maybe mm -hmm. a touch of cinnamon or something like that. Like this is, uh, I would say for me, this is like a stepping stone wine. I feel like when it's not aerated, you do get like those classic kind of Cabernet sort of tastes, but then you also get like an undertone of kind of like the Katamala olive, mm -hmm. sort of like sea salt kind of thing. Yeah. So personally, I would not aerate it. I wouldn't decant mm -hmm. it. I would just pop and pour. Mm -hmm. I, I like it better like this. Yeah, I like it better like this. I'm not saying it's really bad in any way. I'm just saying I wouldn't buy any more. I'm still going to enjoy a glass or two of it, you know, and share it with friends and stuff like that. Yeah. I think I still think it's a good wine. I just want to know what's in it. Is there mega purple in here? I want to know. 
Tell us Chris Wagner. <laughs> no, Chuck I, Wagner. Chuck Wagner. Chris, oh. now you've insulted his name. No. Sorry, Chuck. Chucky. Chucky. <laughs> oh, that's I, even worse. I, if you really want to get better at like identifying smells, I would totally, totally try this because the smells on there are super funky. Yeah. But other than that, have you tried it? Let us know. Thank you for joining here at Taste of Wine. Make sure you get out there and taste some wine. Let us know if you're trying. Let us know if you try next. Have you ever had Mr. Bonanza from Chuck Wagner? Let us know. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Our handle is Tasting Wine Official. So official. Give us a follow. Yeah. Double tap. Other than that. See you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers. Woo.